Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aditya Gupta. So in this video, I wanted to discuss with each and every NEET PG and INICT aspirant how to move forward for the next two months. As you all know, uh, you know NEET PG has been pre-pwned. Not by much, two weeks, but yes, it does take a toll on your uh, mental health. It takes a toll on how to reschedule, you know, you, those two weeks were when you were actually planning your last 10-day revision, the most important revision. But let's move forward now first i will talk about how to prepare for INICT and i'll divide it into two main categories of people the two main categories of people are one those who have uh, who are specifically preparing for INI they want a revision strategy and how to prepare for INI in the last two months what to keep in mind what not to keep in mind how to get an extra edge the second category of people is those who are preparing for NEET in june but they want to give INI they want to give INI a best shot they they're not really confident about INI but they feel key if they give a shot they might have a chance so both this uh, set of uh, people i'll address separately first those who are going to give INI specifically how is INI different from NEET the two main re things that makes INI really really drastically different from NEET the first is the heavy focus on first and second prof. NEET, 60% of the syllabus will come from final year subjects. While as far as INI is concerned, 60% of your questions are going to be your first and second prof, which obviously, I'm, when I say first and second prof, I mean uh, uh, forensic medicine also, not the third prof uh, as it has been converted in the recent years. Uh, if, so unless your path pharma, physiology, micro, all these subjects are not strong, you do not really stand a chance of cracking INICT, especially with the top 500 or top 100 rank that really gets you a good college and a good branch. So in that particular scenario, what I'm going to advise you is that you should now start focusing more on first and second prof and slightly start decreasing the time that you spend on your uh, final prof, especially on medicine. Medicine is a huge time waster, I would say, as far as INICT is concerned, because the paper, the question that they are asking in medicine are not really medicine questions, they are emergency medicine questions. If you ever look at the paper of INICT, most of the questions will be from the point of perspective of an intern, what he's supposed to do in an emergency. That's the reason if you want to study medicine from this point onwards in the next two months, my simple advice would be that study path pharma thoroughly, but as far as emergencies, medicine is concerned, just focus on the emergency aspects of it, the ECG of it, the ABG of it, the, you know, some uh, ACLS or BLS. If you look at the question in the past five years, the pattern has stayed exactly the same. They don't ask core medicine question. Nobody is going to ask you the treatment algorithm of a Parkinson's disease. Nobody is going to ask you the treatment algorithm of, uh, for example, uh, uh, you know, Alzheimer's or uh, some other random IBD or something on those lines. If they ask you a question on IBD, I'm pretty sure it can be solved with the path knowledge or if you know pharmacology. But they're not going to ask you questions from there. They're actually going to ask you questions on uh, patients coming to you with diarrhea. Pete's question, you know, emergency patients coming to an emergency with uh, spinal compression or basically anything which is an emergency related. So make your emergencies right. Those, those won't take too much of time and your medicine, that amount of time spent to revise medicine also will decrease significantly. The second is start practicing questions um, uh, on marrow or prep ladder in that 45 minute time bracket because a lot of people had problem. They were prepared, but they were 45 minute while apart. They could not crack in 45 minutes. I have to solve 50 questions. You know, people have a tendency that they lack in the first, you know, slowly build up and then later pick up the speed. But I and I requires you that you crack it and, you know, start doing it in 45 minute time brackets. So start practicing for that particular mock type of pattern. Start practicing those kind of mocks. How many revisions should you target till the May 19th when the exam is actually plan, I would say two revisions plus the booster revision. By two revisions, I mean that one revision should be done in around 30 days, another revision in 20 days. And since 55 days are left, only uh, one final five day revision. The final five day revision would not contain your major subjects. It would not contain your medicine. It will not contain your, uh, it will not contain your pediatrics. Uh, it will not contain your PSM also to a certain extent. It will not definitely not contain Ophthal and ENT. It will contain the first and second prof revision. There are seven subjects. I'm sure you can revise them over a period of three days. The remaining two days, you should focus on revising your short subjects, derma, ortho and psychiatry, especially in derma. I know hopefully, I, I, I hope you know that most of the questions come from Nina Khanna. Uh, and Nina Khanna images PDF is available freely on Telegram. So go and check that out. And maybe a little bit of obs a little bit of surgery, not much of surgery. Obs yes, I would ask you to revise obs towards the end, but uh, surgery is a plus and minus. Surgery is a plus and minus. But first and second prof in a short subject revision in the past five, last five days, going to boost your rank. That's, that's why I call it the booster revision. For those who are looking for an extra edge to get into the top 100, I would ask you that uh, please from Reflex, I know Reflex has a, some issues, definitely I don't deny it, but it's definitely going to be the best 600 of rupees of your life that you're going to spend on. Uh, 
solve 2014, 15, and 16 questions from Reflex. Any pay person who has come here in AIMS, I lot of, meet a lot of people who come to AIMS after, especially, uh, you know, in the past one year, two years, they all have said that solving those two, three extra papers gave them an extra confidence and that extra edge that reflected in the exam and got them a top 100 or a top 200 run. So those two, three papers, 14, 15, 16, unfortunately, they're not given in any other platform. So you can just buy Reflex for 600 rupees and that will give you an extra edge. I'll give the link to buy Reflex uh, for getting those particular papers. Uh, apart from that, in Reflex also, there is another thing, which is the revision PDFs. Uh, uh, me and Divya, last time, we gave it for free for a brief period of time. There is a revision PDF of 200, uh, you know, 200 page PDF, which has pa uh, from the past three years, we decoded the 200 topics that have been asked at least twice or thrice. So those are the ultra high yield topics. If you're someone who struggles, especially with revision and making revision notes, that PDF can serve as a genuinely can serve as a, uh, sort of, you know, help you in the revision part. I'll just show you the PDF once. Just give me a moment. So this is what that PDF looks like. This is what that PDF looks like, you know, all the most important things, uh, it is a 180, 183 pages PDF if I'm not or pages and most important thing, you know, given in like, you know, one, 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 one page, one, 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 one page each, uh, hemolytic anemia classification, coagulation disorders in one table, uh, all the RBCs and conditions in one table, pneumoconiosis, the question, the vacutainers, this, you all know that these questions keep on getting asked again and again. ALL prognostic factor is a very important thing. Immunodeficiency in basically one or two tables. Uh, consider it that I have essentially concised even the first aid, depending upon the questions that have been asked uh, from the past two years. It's a 180 page PDF and you will also get that PDF if you get reflex. If you're someone who doesn't want to get reflex and wants to buy this PDF, uh, uh, standalone, then I'll give the link to my own website where I'm selling this video for a very nominal cost of 100 rupees. All right, but definitely it's going to serve as a booster as far as your revision is concerned. Now back to the, now back to the, uh, your, uh, topic. So as far as this is concerned, so I hope you have understood first and second pro focus, two revisions and a booster revision. Uh, start practicing for 45 minutes, aiming for a top 100 rank, then you can definitely consider going for 14, 15, 16 papers, aiming for uh, or struggling with revision, those revision PDFs can help you. Now, those who are preparing for NEET, what my advice would be that don't think of INI CT, think of INI CT, continue with your preparation in the way that you had planned. You know, whatever revisions that you had planned, I'll complete this much revision by this time, I'll complete this much revision by this time. You can continue with the same thing, exactly the same thing. You don't need to change anything at all. Just that when INICT is starting, that it's on May 19th, right? 10 days prior to that or two weeks prior to that, depending upon how much time you actually want to donate to that particular exam, every day solve just one INICT paper. That's all I'll ask you. In the last seven days building up to that or last 10 days building up to that, solve one INICT paper as a GT. What will happen because of that is you'll have an excellent GT practice also in the run up to your NEET PG. And at the same point of time, since you have revised the past four, five year papers of INICT, if you give one paper every day, just give three papers, just see the correct and the incorrect answers. Don't spend too much time. Don't spend an entire day to revise it. Three hours to give the paper. Two to two, three hours to, uh, you know, do a fast revision of it. And that's about it. And the remaining four, five hours to prepare the way you were already preparing. All right. I hope you're already starting putting 10 to 12 hours on a day, 10 hours at least of daily study or six hours of at least of daily study. Because if you don't do that, I'm sorry, you won't be able to crack the exam. And just then afterwards, give the INI CT. When you have given the INI CT, uh, uh, hopefully from that knowledge that you have gained in the, those last two, three weeks, you would be able to crack it. Now, those who are starting new, please, the only uh, advice to you is please don't go for main videos, go for revision videos along with previous questions. Revision videos of Marrow, I saw the notes, they have become excellent at this point of time. Prep ladder already was on, so irrespective of the platform, the revision videos are good. If I just take pediatrics as an example, so I, if I saw Marrow revision notes actually. I don't know, there was some glitch actually, they got ma mailed to me actually. So there's just 50 pages. What was lacking in those 50 pages? So 50 pages were filled with information which are asked repeatedly again and again and again. Uh, essentially all the previous topics were concerned. There were few things that were missing. So NRP was missing. One major exclusion I felt was NRP is asked repeatedly, is that was missing. And two other, two, three uh, small minor things I felt were missing. Otherwise the, they were like really good. The same is valid for prep ladder. Dr. Minakshi has made them ex excellent, uh, uh, PD, uh, excellent revision videos. Just taking pediatrics is an example for every subject I'm talking about. So this is why the revision videos plus previous year questions are going to be a really, uh, if you're starting now, obviously if you're prepared, then obviously I'm not going to say this. Uh, because they, they are the only thing that you can actually complete in the next three months. And at the same point of time, they're really high yield. 
all right and uh, i know the three months is being very honest three months is slightly lesser time to crack the exam i know i won't uh, sugar coat it you need around 6 months to crack the exam 3 months is slightly on the lower side uh, until as you have had a really good mbbs base obviously uh, but, so i will I'll only advise you that you should i will give the link in the description i took an interview of one of my juniors aman who i i have personally seen he was my you know batch like uh, he, his room was just next to my room when during my mbbs and uh, like that he was someone who was always engrossed as far as your uh, neat ug and he is himself a youtuber and you know for startups and all that he was involved during that mbbs but he actually said he came to me he uh, you know in 3 and a half 4 months he actually was able to crack the exam and he mostly did only revision videos so you can listen to that interview and uh, go to his channel too he has made not many he's still focusing on neat ug but he has still made some videos related to neat pg preparation as well on how to get the maximum benefit in during the first uh, in if you just have 3 3 4 months for preparation now he got a 500 450 or 500 rank if i'm not wrong now i know that for 50 500 you will be like sir pehle bhi padha hoga obviously 450 rank nahi aati fair enough i understand that he has slightly average above average brain because he's from aims obviously he's from aims delhi but even if let's say he's a above average student you are an above, just an average student doesn't that mean that revision videos plus previous year question can definitely if you do it thoroughly in the last 3 months uh proper solving of previous year question the the explanation of the previous year questions added to your revision notes and the revision notes if you do this once and revise it once or twice doesn't it mean that you also will be able to probably get a 5000 to 7000 rank if he got a 500 rank right even if you let's say 10 times less as potent as he is so that's why i'm saying that if you if you're someone who's starting now matlab jag jao but start now uh, you still have a chance at a 5000 to 7000 rank all right you can definitely attend btr but btr ka problem the only problem with btr is btr requires slight knowledge baseline knowledge because she builds on that zena builds on that benavid is giving you the most high yield material but she sort of builds on a prior knowledge and btr is more of first second prof and tidbit portion of the final prof rather than full final prof so portion of final prof is definitely lacking in btr not saying that uh, overall is a very good revision stores so it can definitely consider if you like you know make a revision videos nikani mai btr kar sakta yes you can definitely do that but every time whenever you are doing anything revision nish as the primary source please solve past five year questions and the explanation and the related poll and add to that only then it will become complete all right the last question i had for every one of you is do you want me to start one pyq per day series in the build up to iniet uh, if you want go ahead uh, would be more than happy to do that uh, last time i saw some comments that we should i should start that again i was like fair enough if I'm, if people are interested in that i can probably start that again all right i hope you enjoyed this particular video thank you and have a nice day